gonna be a long week but a productive one. Good morning. Let's see what the day brings to us. See you soon. Bye guys. Okay, we're gonna go and pick up Jasmine right now, our academic head and primary trailblazing brain behind the curriculum. Where have you guys reached? Uh, we've reached the Rhino, but there's no one here. <laughs> yeah, I just called up Daffy. She said we're all waiting for you. Okay, fine. Okay. Where the Rhino Museum is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're here for all the Okay, okay, so tell. Uh, so then tell us to wait there at uh, wherever he is. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, super. So all things are nice. Let's see how oh, she's set up for the week. Hi, Pom. Hi, good morning. Good morning, superstar. Good morning. Ah, Buzz, good morning. Nothing else. I'm sorry. All the best for the day ahead. <laughs> good luck for the week ahead, Pom. You have a yes, major luck. assignment with you. All the all the supplies are in place, no? stationery and your stocks. Yes, yes. All settled. What about? The only thing, the only thing which went a little uh, wrong was we planned to give dinner milk every day, yeah. which did not happen. So I we understand. Gave only on the third, on the third day. day, I understand. Yeah. What about the assessment sheets? Everything done, sir. Everything is all uh, done. Printing done yesterday. Day before yesterday. Separate sheets or booklets? Sorry? Separate sheets or booklets? Booklets, booklets. Oh, super. Okay. What about notepads and pens? What about? Everything done, sir. Everything done. Okay, great job. Thanks, Pom. See you yeah. when I get back yeah. to office. Yeah. Wow, Jasmine's like a... Look at her. Mm -hmm. Oof. Even I don't drive like that. Is, this, is it in your jeans or what? I think so. <laughs> they say that you can say a lot about a person from the way she drives or the way he drives. Oh man, if that's the case, then I'm... I, well, how would you describe I uh, describe that Om? <laughs> hey, that that's Om, by the way. Uh, you're gonna have a hard time today <laughs> running up. <after. laughs> I swear. Slow down, slow down, slow down. There they are. Oh wow, Melis and Sandy are on time. This is amazing. Seriously. Hi guys, good morning. Find you all the best. Good luck. Good luck. So, Dari is our man, and where is he heading off to? Sora. Sora, for which block? Ah, Maumulu. Heading off to Maumulu. That's the captain of the project, Dari, right there. Man, 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 heading off to? Penursla. Penursla. So he's going up with Raj. Raj is our, our brains behind Ops and Of course we have Mac who's gonna be training on the ground today as well. Letting Mac, which is your I think you And Kenny. Kenny is our Ops man. Hi. He's quiet but he's bold and brave. And we have, of course you know Hubby. And these are the cars. Bye bye people. See you on the other side. Hello.
So I think the word should be hope for the team at Nursa because this is so far and so remote from the, the main hub which is in Shillong. Uh, the last time we met with the SDO here, he said that um, most of the kids have left for Shillong for their further studies, for their higher studies. And they do not have that facility here in Nursla. And we hope that with the intervention that we uh, bring here for them this week, you know, they should, it should give them a sense of hope, a sense of purpose. And also it should give them uh, a feeling that they're not left out, they're not alone. Well, it was a great experience. It took longer than it was supposed to be. Uh, I'm glad we went so well. We learned quite a lot of things today, but it's about the little things at one day at a time. And uh, we did a lot of values, fears, and well, I just the practicality of applying them in real life makes more sense to them. Hi, my name is Mubo Baskandaba. Um, I am from Brindra Bodao Area Secondary School, Peninsula. I stay in Peninsula parking lot and I'm in class 10. I love you, Pa. I love you, May. I love you, Vene. And I love you, my friend, Milan. Thank you. Okay, so what is your drive? My drive is growth. Personally, professionally, uh, you know, just building up on either my knowledge, my skills, testing myself every day and just challenging myself every day so that I learn better, I grow better. I think that has always been my dream. Truth. There's a saying, you know, at the end of the day, I want this for me, that the day I die, somebody will give this and say that, you know, because of this guy, I did not quit. That's the only thing for me. I'm happy. If, if somebody s says that to me, that they might not give me anything, but somebody will come and say to me, boss, it is because of you, I did not quit. So that has always been my drive. So as much as I can, the kind of training that I do, I just like to hear people's story and how do... I take what I have, the challenges that life, I think, yeah, when I look back, all of this has come together, it makes more sense now, because 
the experience that I have, the challenges, the heartache or the, 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 the pain that you go through when you sit and you sit with them, uh, understand, it's more or less the same. Maybe the situation might be different but how we tackle it is more or less the same. So that, that is the beauty, that, 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 that's, that's what I like doing it. To understand the struggle, to understand, I might not be able to give it all, but whatever I can, whatever I have, listen to the story, share. That's my drive. The objective, the primary objective, I would say for this project is to help uh, the participants realize what they're capable of and to expand their boundaries uh, that they set for themselves. I think sometimes we feel like we're not capable enough, or you know, we're not smart enough, we're not wise enough. We're just there to, you know, expand those boundaries in their thinking, in their, in their approach to life. People smile, make them happy, and I think through the work that we do and the lives that we touch and the many strangers that we meet along our journeys, I think that's the one thing that I've been able to do, to make children happy, to make old people happy, to make young people happy, and um, but the thing that is at the core of it is the value that I live by and that's love. So that's what drives me, my love for work, my team, my family, uh, myself and uh, for everybody out there who is ready to be inspired and moved and transformed. If you have to go anywhere and be somebody and do something for yourself, you need to love yourself first. And that is what drives me. Love love. So <laughs> keep, 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 keep. What drives me is helping others to make them happy. If they are, if they are happy, it, I feel more happy. There's the stationery box for my kids. One of our <coughs> closer projects to home. Some of our other projects have taken us into the very extreme corners of the districts, and then do maybe 250, 300 kilometers a day. Today is good. Today is just 120 kilometers. Not bad. Okay. I think uh, the last stretch as we head home, and everyone needs a break. Everyone needs some sleep. I think they're all getting home now. We have two teams staying out in the inspection bungalows and at uh, homestay accommodations. And we have three teams that are heading back tonight and they'll be going up and down every day to the sites. Well, let's see what tomorrow brings. Over and out.